Hey everyone and welcome to another SEO tutorial. This one is about being able to add the short name to your Google My Business listing. So how you do that is if you get in, go ahead into Google My Business and you can click on the info tab and then you come down here to where it says add short name. Now here we'll go ahead and say BT Foom for our short name and we'll say apply. Now this may take a few seconds to get applied and of course it'll be checked okay and you'll notice the first thing that comes up is that it is under review all right so there are a couple things that are important to know about this and we'll go ahead and take a look at the help file inside of google so here's the help file inside of google my business and i'll put the url for this in the description below but in short um, if you really want to know it can be it has to be between 5 and 32 characters and you can change it up to three times a year, but if you change it, then the previous one does not work. Not only that, it'll be open for other companies to go ahead and grab that. So it's probably smartest to decide exactly what you want your short name to be before you just start in on this. So take a little bit of time and think about what you really want because it's kind of costly in time and effort to change it. All right, but if you need to, you can change it up to three times a year. All right, so another thing you want to know is how to use it. One of the important things that you might want to know is that if you just type g.page slash and then whatever custom name you have created, that, that'll take you right to the business listing. So you can, this is a lot easier than some of those longer drawn out ones. And it'll also work to get reviews. So if you type g.page slash your custom name and then slash review you can use that as people will be able to write a review right for your business right, there's a couple things that you can also check out and that is some of the rules and most of us won't break those but here are some of the policies okay not allowed to impersonate or represent right all the things that you probably would not do and the inactive account uh, if you're outside of it for too long, right, the URL may be reclaimed. So you want to make sure that you keep it uh, active. Right. The other one we'll check out is the policies and make sure that we don't break any of those. And I'll put this link in the description below as well. Okay, so here's just that same old Maps user uh, contributed content policy and make sure that you're not doing any of these things with it. And obviously most of us won't be, right? But it's, it's probably worth something to look over and I'll put it in the link below. All right, let's go back. All right, so back inside of Google My Business on the info tab, you'll be able to see here with the at sign, your short name. Hope this is helpful in showing your short name and why you might want to do it so that others do not claim a short name which could be used for yours or theirs because the first one to claim that short name is who gets to keep it and use it. So doing this as soon as possible may be a smart thing for your business. Thanks, and I hope this helps.